Well, everybody's already got their minds made up for the most part. A lot of people already have just made speculations. The conspiracy theories are already just clicking and just coming out of nowhere. People are just like, I don't know. Did he do it for this reason or that reason? He knows that he's really a murderer. I saw something that just came out that Aaron Hernandez, uh, on Aaron Hernandez's death, and that uh, said, why would he do this when he had a lot to look forward to going forward? He still had his wife. He had a beautiful daughter. Um, and that's that was one of the things that made me compelled to give my little opinion. I mean, for whatever it's worth. I mean, I mean, hit the like button if you are, you're ready for this. I mean, because if you already don't, I mean, I, I mean, this is about my reaction. That's all this is about. This is my my dumb opinion about stuff. You know, like I say, I always claim to know a lot about a little, a little, a little about a lot. I don't know shit. I don't know nothing. I don't know. I do not know uh, what was in this man's mind. I don't know what's in this man's heart. I didn't know what he did. You know, but you know, don't, don't just hit the unlike button just because you don't like Aaron Hernandez or just hit the like button just because you like Aaron Hernandez. This is about what you think about this, the topic that I'm about to bring up right now. That's all this is about. It has nothing to do with anything else, whether he was a murderer, whether he was not a murderer, all this other gang banger, all this other stuff. Look, I know for a fact that it would have been crazy dumb for a person in his with, his with as much money as he was making and all that stuff to be that dumb to uh to do a crime like that double murder but for himself you know i mean you, you hire some people to do that stuff. i'm sorry if i had that much money and you know i don't care about the past relationships the gang you know initiations you know once you're in you're always in and and you're gonna be, I'm sorry dude, once you reach a certain level of success, it doesn't matter if you're the, the godfather or not. As a captain or as a soldier, you surpass them, those guys financially and status-wise, then then you, you, you don't just mess up the money. So, you know, you, you don't just tell your soldier, hey man, I know that before you were a famous football player, before you were making all this money, that I used to get you to go out there and murder people or do whatever the uh, drug deal, whatever the crime was, or whatever or the other or job was. I used to, I know you used to go out there yourself and handle it and all that, and that's what I can make you do. But you know, you know, you know so yeah, you, you've reached this level of success now. You got a lot of eyes on you. Guess what? I'm gonna make you do it again. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna do it yourself. Go handle it. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. You reach that level of fame, I mean, come on, the captains know, the boss mans, they all know. They exploit it, they keep it going. Yeah, you want a job done, yeah, this guy can reach you or whatever, but yeah, but at the same time, he also has a certain image and a certain level of success, and he's making so much money, and you don't just shut that down to go, you know, handle something like that. Now, I don't know a lot, I don't know anything about gang, I'm just talking about like, just, I'm just talking about, you know, just being wise on stuff, on stupid stuff like that. Now, 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 keep in mind, I'm talking about a, a, a bad crime. I'm talking about mob mentality. I'm talking about stupid stuff, like uh, like evil, bad things. But people always say things like, you know, criminals, they're all stupid. You know, they are, they're not book smart or whatever. Yeah, but they're street smart, okay? There's a lot of people in jail because they they made uh, one slip up and they got caught you know uh, out there out of there's people that are in jail because they made one mistake one time and that's all it really takes but there's a lot of people who have never made those mistakes and they just keep getting away with stuff because they're not that they, you th think just because they're not book smart that being street smart doesn't count for anything it's called common sense and one thing that always transcends whether you're a Wall Street guy or or you're a gangbanger on the street money talks and if Hernandez was making that much money and bringing that to the gang if he was a part of a gang or not or whatever you ain't gonna mess that up that's a gravy that's a great what they call it, a gravy train meal ticket whatever you ain't gonna mess that up yo yeah go out there and just go murder somebody no he's gonna hire somebody it don't matter if he's the the, the, the lower end guy an entry level guy or, or the boss man he's got the money he's gonna go he's gonna take care of he's not gonna do it himself now, if he was a part of it, I don't know. Now, if he had something to do with it, I don't know. Did he hire somebody, like I'm saying, he should have missed if he was smart enough to do it, uh, or dumb enough, whatever, however you want to call it, I don't know. But he got arrested. 
And then now he recently got found not guilty of double murder. And everybody's already on him about that. You know, hey, he's a murderer. He's it. He was found not guilty. I said what you want to say about whether you think he, he, that could have been the reason why why he probably took his life. Because he was probably under the situation of, you know, public opinion. But at the same time, this has been some years, okay? If he was going to commit suicide because he was already guilty in the eyes of public opinion, he could have been did that when he was first arrested. Why wait until you're found not guilty? You already were accused. You were already accused. Why wait? I mean, come on. If, if anything, if, if, I, if he was guilty or if he was that weak-minded to be under the pressure of, oh my God, the public is never going to forgive me for this. Why wait until you're found not guilty? It would have made more sense if he was found guilty on all of it. Now, you know, yeah, we got the DNA. We we found that 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 one sliver of dead skin, you know, or, or you know, behind the uh, the refrigerator or whatever. You know how they do. They they you know how they plant evidence or whatever, or they actually find it. Uh, you know, either way, I mean, your cops are your cops have been known to do one or the other. They either really find it or they plant it. Sometimes, you know, if they want to get you bad enough, but. I don't know which one was the thing where they, that that found him not guilty. The fact that they didn't find it, or the fact that they actually found that um, he was without a shadow of a doubt, not it wasn't him or something, whatever. Or that they just couldn't, or they just couldn't prove their case. Bottom line is, the guy was found not guilty, right? Right. So, well, we, so this is what this is what we're gonna say moving forward. I've been arrested for. For a double murder. This is me. This is Chris. I get arrested for double murder. The, the case has been going on for some years. If I was so weak-minded and be under the pressure of public opinion, people have killed themselves for less than that at the very beginning of the trial. The, uh, in the middle of the trial? What, remember, the, remember the guy who killed himself after he had that girl captive for all those years? She got herself out, you know, and the, uh, the, the black guy who... Uh, who, who, uh, who helped her out and you know her and her kid and got out of there and then you know he became a hero and then they instantly started to attack him for some stupid reason public opinion and whatever you know and that guy you know that that guy was found guilty uh, uh, what did he say remember he said hey, that guy was nothing suspicious about him he barbecued he did nothing you know nothing suspicious about him until today you know, then, then, then all of a sudden he got put in jail he was arrested he, he uh he got found guilty and then he killed himself right at the beginning he didn't even wait he didn't even wait. Why wait until after you were found not guilty? Not on one, but two. Why wait then? Oh man, found now. That's why it took me so long to make this reaction because I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, wait a minute, was he found guilty or not? And then I have to double check. I'm like, wait, not guilty. Double murder. Oh well, I mean, I got found not guilty. Not innocent, not innocent, just not guilty. The state or the government, whatever, could not prove that, you know, they couldn't prove beyond a, a you know, a reasonable doubt that, you know, that he did it. They couldn't make their case. So you sound not guilty. So that's the time when a, a person that can just walk out and skip a dip, 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 and just walk out the door decides, oh, I'm going to end it all. No, man, there's something funny about that. What's the conspiracy theories now? Let's speculate. Either A people he was accused of killing their their uh, affiliates got to him um, in jail or or the, the people who were supposed to be taking care of him got to him because you know it, it's just how, it's how it is celebrity minority accused of murder it's likely that you had something to do with it kind of a civil mentality some people don't like that sometimes they come after you Oh, you big shot, you're getting away with it. Mm, you're gonna take care of that. And then they, they, they do they do crap like that. They do it. They do it. They do it. Or maybe he was guilty. Maybe he was 100 percent guilty and he knew what was coming for him when he got out there. Maybe that's why. Because like I said, if he was innocent and if he wasn't that weak-minded to be like, oh my god, they're gonna treat me. Look how bad they treated Michael Vick. And that was just some dogs. Oh man, I was accused of double murder. Dude, they were gonna like, dude. Honestly, and the sad thing about it is, they would have hounded Michael Vick longer and more than they would have hounded you. You would have just been called a murderer. But eventually, human beings, we'd have gotten, gotten over that. But Michael Vick, oh dog. No. They, they after doing this to some innocent animals and stuff like that. Oh man, beat them. They come after you. They, they, they want. I mean, come on. But that's not what this is. So I digress. 
So what, what, what happened? I don't know. I'm not 100% gonna be like he committed suicide. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not at the same time, I'm not gonna accuse anybody else of killing him. Cause I don't know what was in his mind. I don't know what was in his heart. And I don't know how weak minded he was. But it's just funny that the day that you get put off scot-free, all those Wall Street guys, all those bankers that were straight up, you know, you, you were, you did it. You did that thing. And then the government bailed you out. You got out, you came out, you know, you lost all your money, but you waited, you waited it out. You didn't, you didn't day trade. And that's what technically, if, if he committed suicide, that's what he did. He was a day trader today. He decided to just cash out. But if he would have waited, he, he, we would have forgotten about it uh, eventually. Eventually, that's just how it is. Once the next scandal or the next big thing, this would have been over. But for him, he would have been, oh yeah, anytime his name would have come up, murderer! That's what Zachary people did. Oh yeah, he would have had to deal with that shit for the rest of his life. Oh yeah. If I would have seen him walking down the street, <laughs> hey, you do, yeah. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I don't know, man. So, look, dude, you ain't, can't, don't, don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there, you gonna, mama. I wouldn't hang, I ain't gonna hang with you. But, cause I don't know. Can't take a chance. But, I don't know, man. But the day that you get found not guilty, I mean, come on. Either A, he was just that weak-minded. I just can't see it. But, at the same time, maybe he was that weak-minded. Or maybe he knows he did it and got away with it. Maybe he knows what was coming for him and decided to take the easy way out. Maybe they threatened his family and he knew that was the only way out. Or maybe he was murdered. I don't know. And I don't think we ever will know. Now that he's committed suicide, or that, no, no, I'm sorry. Now that he's dead, this story is about to go. You already see it on Twitter and stuff. You know, there's a bunch of soldiers that, you know, commit suicide all the time. And we're always talking about these celebrities. Yeah, that's a problem. We do a lot of celebrity worshiping in this country. But I, I told him, I'm tell you right now, go back to what the great Heath Ledger said on the dark night. It's the Joker in the hospital scene. It's all part of the plan. All right. Soldiers committing suicide, at least 20 soldiers a day commit suicide. There's always a group that suffers more than others. You can't, yeah, you compare a celebrity or whatever to any group. Yeah, it does look bad, dude. I mean, there's children overseas, whatever, in Africa starving, like, like right now. Like, I think, like in, the, in the time that we've been talking or you've been listening to me talk, there's been a bunch of kids that have starved to death right now. And that, that trumps that number of the soldiers that have committed suicide. There's all, there's a, there's always a, a larger, people were dying of, of um, cancer. More uh, uh, the numbers are, are bigger than, than this right now. Of you know one celebrity. Why are we focusing on one fallen celebrity or one fallen sports guy? Because that doesn't happen every day, and people forget. People, the, the the majority forgets. That's why it's not. Why is this on the news? And this other stuff that's more important not on the news. Because that other stuff that's more important on the news happens every day, and it's been covered before, and it's not something that's going to be covered every day. But something that doesn't happen every day. It's got to at least get covered once because that other stuff did get covered at least once. But people always get offended. Should you co should we be covering this more important stuff every day? Yeah, probably. But then you got to make you got to see what they got. You got to look at it from their point of view, man. If we keep covering that stuff every day, then after a while, we're just going to guarantee that no one's going to be listening. Guaranteed. If we co if we covered the fact that children are starving overseas and stuff every day one for one if we're not already digging deep in our pockets and helping these people out right now and, and solving the problem which we could right now covering it every day ain't gonna make that happen that's gonna if, if anything that'll make the donations die down even faster and that's the sad thing about people in uh, mental so don't don't go get all bent out of shape because we're covering this is the, this is the story this is the story all right it's just happened it's april the end of april all right 17th, 18th, whatever the day is. It's a Wednesday. It just happened. All right. So, you know, rest in peace to the to the to the to the dead. I mean, if you, if you did it, you, hey, you know you know why you did it and why you committed suicide. If you if you didn't do it and you committed suicide, you know why you committed suicide. If you didn't do it and you didn't commit suicide, I don't know if anything is. I don't know if we're ever gonna see anything from that. I doubt. It. But let me know what you guys think. Cause I'm done. Till next time.